Today we're going to be going for the Platinum Trophy in Lego Harry Potter years 1 through 4. We all know what Harry Potter is by now. We're going to be following the journey of Harry, Ron and Hermione through Hogwarts and on their crazy adventures we're going to get all the trophies. PSN Profiles has it rated a 2 out of 10 for difficulty. We're going to have to do two playthroughs. It's going to take about 25 hours. There's one missable trophy that we're going to have to keep our eyes on. And unfortunately, the guide says there is a possibility that some of the trophies can glitch. The collectible stuff, there seems to be a lot of issues with the, with the trophies. So hopefully we don't have any issues and we can actually pull off that shiny platinum. Altogether though, there's 37 trophies. So we're going to tackle this one in four simple steps. Step one, we're just going to play through the story, not worry about anything other than that one missable. So with that said, let's do this. First up, step one, the story. Let's get the trophies. All right, so this is the only missable trophy. You've got the this ghost that kind of leads you around Hogwarts. Um, he only does this during the story, so and you need to collect 500. So you need to just basically make sure you're always grabbing all these, so you don't so you don't miss it. So the first trophy we actually end up picking up is the only missable, which was the hey, there it is, ghostly treasure. Collect 500 ghost studs. There we go, so that's the only missable trophy in the game. We got it, so we don't have to worry about it now. Ron tries his best to uh, get Fluffy to fall asleep. <laughs> Doesn't quite work out. We now finish the first year of Hogwarts. It's Junior. That's uh, complete year one of the story levels. And while we're heading for, uh, to complete year two of the story levels, we collect 10 million studs in a single level. Oh, we got a trophy. Multiply. Collect 10 million studs in one level. Oh my god, these controls are ridiculous. <laughs> oh no. Drive. We now complete year two of the story. Nice. Senior complete year two of the story levels. We then complete year three of Hogwarts. Nice. Prefect complete year three. I had to leave this little clip in because it just made me laugh. There was a lot of moments in this game that just had me chuckling. But as we head on for completing the year four, we actually get two other trophies. We get Teacher's Pet for completing all the story lessons, and we also get another one. Nice. Teacher's Pet. Complete all story lessons. Called Watch Out, which we get for knocking over ten characters on a rideable object. Oh, what's that one? Watch Out. Knock over ten characters using a rideable object. Keep having this weird bug happen it's probably happened like five times now where obviously you can see on the top there's no like circle or anything to show what skills i'm using the ui just completely disappears it's really annoying so we now complete year four and the final mission which nets us two trophies which is complete the story levels in all four years and also complete year four in general hey head boy Complete year four of the story levels and also story complete. Complete the story levels in all four years. So it looks like that's going to be the end of the, the game. That's the end of the story. So of course that means step one is now complete. So moving swiftly on to step two. So step two, we're going to go get all of the collectibles in Hogwarts and Diagon Alley. We now get another funny and nice little ending to the game. My boy Ron, getting a little bit jealous. He goes for it though. <laughs> Poor Ron just gets a slap. All right, and you can see there, so we've got 19, we, we finished the story. So far, we've got 19 out of 20 red bricks. I've got 12 out of 50, the students in peril saved. Sitting at 44.6% through the game we need to get to 100 we've aced 
14 out of 24 levels. We've got 41 out of 167 characters. We've got 72 out of 200 bricks. And we haven't done any of the symbols, which is the crests on all 24 levels. Next up, we grab power up for collecting the red bricks. Oh, nice. Power up, collect all of the red bricks. Good stuff. What not expecting that one. Now, as we're kind of like wandering around going the bricks and stuff, we get another trophy for defeating 20 spiders we run. Oh, arachnophobia. Defeat 20 spiders with Ron. And just moments after that, we get back in time, which is for using the time turner. Ooh, back in time. Use the time turner. And now, unfortunately, I think for the rest of the trophies, I'm an absolute idiot and had my microphone muted, so I didn't capture any of the audio, which is super annoying. But with that said, the first one we get is Solid Snape, which is probably my favourite uh, trophy in the game. We're basically just jump in a barrel, hide in a barrel as Snape. And we get this one, of course, a, a nod to the Metal Gear Solid games, which is one of my favourite franchises. So yeah, really enjoyed this one. Alright, so at this point in the game, in my journey, I decide I want to go and get the Crest Collector trophies, which is basically getting all the house crests in year one two, three, and four. So I'm going to go do all that. And while I'm doing that, I'm also going to grab a couple of other trophies as well. So the first one we grab is Crest Collector, which is collect all of the house crests in year one. Moving swiftly on, the next one we get is Stud Magnet, which is for getting the true wizard in every level. So before we complete year two of the crests, I get the trophy Good Dog. So I was on this mission with the spiders, I thought this would be a good time to defeat 20 enemies with Fang. Once we've done that, we get Crest Fanatic, which is collecting all of the house crests in year two. Next, we're gonna go for Ultra Collector, which is collect all of the house crests in year three. Then the Ultimate Collector, which is the last one, collect all of the house crests in year four. So now that I've done that, I decide to go down into the basement and put together all four of these little structures that we get. We get one for each film, so one through four. If we get all of the gold bricks for each film, we can craft these four statues underneath the basement and get a gold brick for each four. So that's another four bricks added to our collection. Next, I decide it's a good time to go for building blocks, which is complete all the Lego Builder tutorial levels. There's only four of them. They're at the bank. They're super easy and super quick. While I'm doing the Builder tutorial levels, there's these 10 bonus levels as well that are also in the bank. They're all, again, super easy and super quick, but doing all 10 of them nets us another 10 gold bricks to add to the collection. And once I've done that, I head back out to Diagon Alley, and there's this little archway that you can go through i had no idea it was even there but there's a little gate you can break and that brings you into a new area called nocturne alley and once we get to the end of it there's another thing that we can build with gold bricks but to be able to build it and to get the final uh, kind of bonus mission i guess you could say we need all 200 gold bricks you can see there are missing three i don't really know where I these three gold bricks are at this point so I head back out I go back to Hogwarts and I try and find these three gold bricks so as I'm looking for the final gold bricks I head into the owl array I was following a guide to get all of the the bricks and save all the students and stuff there's one more student that I need to save and he ended up in the owl array so we got the final student which got us student rescue which is for rescuing all students in peril And then a couple of minutes later, I head up into the second floor of the Owlery and I find my final gold brick. So that one's the bonus level is yours. Collect all the gold bricks. We finally got all 200. Happy days. But now that we've got all 200 of the gold bricks, it does also mean we can go build that bonus level. So I head back over there. I go back to the statue, we build it up, and then we head into the final bonus mission, the final mission we even need to do to unlock uh, Lord Voldemort. There's not a trophy for this mission, but you do need to do it to unlock him, which is required for 100%. So we go through, we do this mission. Basically, the mission is we have to basically go rampant 
through London, destroying as much as humanly possible. You can see there we need a 1 million studs to finish the level. So yeah, we basically just cause havoc and destroy as much as possible. Once we've done that, we unlock Lord Voldemort, which like I said is required for 100%, but we also need him for I think one or two trophies as well. So I get that done and I, th I thought to myself, okay, now is a good time. Since I've unlocked all of the characters, I've got to go buy them now. And once I buy all of the characters, I'll actually unlock four easy trophies. So the first one I grab is Quidditch Team. We get that one for buying the entire Gryffindor Quidditch Team from book one. Next, we get Dark Wizards by every version of Voldemort. Then we get Wonderful Weasleys by the entire Weasley family. And then the last one we needed was Animagus, which is unlock all of the, basically the animal characters. So here's the thing. I bought all of the characters and you could see I was stuck on 99.9% .9 completion. I was like, oh my God, something's glitched. This game is known for glitching. There's, so, there's literally a full article of like 15 ways the game can glitch. I tried to avoid every one of them, but I was right now I was thinking, oh my God, this platinum's gonna be impossible. I've probably hit a block. It's going to be glitched. Why is it 99%? Why are you doing this to me right now? <laughs> Turns out, all I needed to do is go to one of the other stores, go upstairs where all of the red boxes are, and there was two boxes that I hadn't bought. I went and bought those, and guess what? You're the best! Complete the game to 100%. I was so relieved that it didn't glitch out, so good stuff. All right, so now with the 100% out of the way, we've got all of the characters, we've got all the bricks, we've got everything 100%. All we've got left now is a couple of miscellaneous stuff. So of course, we're going on to the final step. So first up, V. We've got this one for scaring 20 students using a ghost character. Chilled out. This is the one we went for next. We're basically terrorizing the students at this point. We gotta freeze 20 characters using Glacius. We then head on over to the library because we're gonna try and unlock quiet, please. So for this one, we turn the sound down to zero and the music off in the options while we're in the library and we get a bronze trophy for it. Lumos Solemn. So for this one, we needed to destroy 50 devil's snare plants. 50 is quite a lot. I don't feel like you can destroy nowhere near that many playing naturally. So we went to the level face of the enemy in the in year one and basically the very first part where you drop down there's three and then after that section there's two so you can get five each time you just save and quit the level go back in and do that until the trophy pops. I was just about to say in the video that I'm gonna fall asleep trying to get this and then it popped up just as we said that. Now we go for defeating the object. So we got this one for defeat the mountain troll using Quirrell. Super easy one. Let's add that to the collection. Next, Quirrell Quandary. So for this one, we need to defeat Quirrell in the Quirrell's boss fight using Voldemort. So we head back to my favorite level, face of the enemy in year one and get it done. Next, we go for quick Quidditch, which is to complete the Quidditch level, which is called a Jinxed Broom, which is also in year one. We need to beat that level in five minutes. I got it on my first try. Super, super easy. Not difficult at all. You probably have plenty of time left over. So we're now down to the final two trophies before the Platinum. First, we get the one called Muggle Trouble. So for this one, we need to defeat 10 enemies using a Muggle character, which just basic Harry Potter's way of saying normal people, no non-magic people. So I take the Milkman because I was thirsty and I go into the level of the Forbidden Forest in year one. Those infinite bees that we used earlier for the kills we fang, we use the exact same technique, but with this character. So now the final trophy. Roll reversal. So for this one, it's the boss fight in the graveyard to take Lord Voldemort, which is why we needed to unlock him. So we use Voldemort and then our secondary character we have as Harry. And then as Voldemort, we've literally just got to attack our second character, Harry, and he'll unlock roll reversal. And with that, we get our shiny new platinum, True Wizard. Collect all the bronze, silver, and gold trophies. 
There it is, champs. Thank you so very much for watching. This one was really, really fun. I kind of underestimated how many things you've got to actually do in a Lego game to get the Platinum. I think I've only ever Platinumed one Lego game and it was like back on the PS3 years and years and years ago. So I completely forgot how much is actually involved to get a Lego Platinum. But this is my first one. I hope you all enjoyed it. For me, it was super fun. I enjoyed it. I was a little bit worried about, obviously, some of the glitchable stuff because there were so many things that could go wrong. Thankfully, it didn't go wrong. We got the shiny platinum at the end, which is happy days. But yeah, feel free. Please let me know. Do you want to see me do some other LEGO games? If so, what LEGO games would you want me to do? I'm, of course, going to consider doing the next Harry Potter game in the collection. I'll probably get them two done, but let me know. If there's any other Lego games you'd like to see me get the Platinum for. With all that said though, I hope you enjoyed the video. Consider subscribing, hit the like button if you did. Take care of yourselves, happy trophy hunting, and I'll catch you all on the next video.